Hello and welcome to another NodeMation tutorial. Uh, I'm Sven and today I have for you a uh, rather complicated workflow uh, which I use today uh, to download some nodes for contacts in Active Campaign, which is a custom relationship management tool and I need to save them into a database. Along this tutorial, I will show you a little bit uh, more about the data structure of NodeMation because for me it was um, not easy to grasp in the beginning and I even today I ran into a um, lot of smaller problems so maybe it will help you um, to to know uh, what what it's like behind the scenes. So what I'm trying to achieve is here to insert rows into a, a Postgres database. These columns, uh, deal ID, contact ID, note and date. And I want a single row for each deal, uh, for, each con uh, for each deal note, I'm sorry. So one contact, I'll try to, um, oh, let's just use these ones. So one contact can have multiple deals, which can each have multi, oh, let's do it this way. One contact, I'm, I'm just symbolizing the data structure. So uh, all right just like this. Okay, so one contact can have multiple deals and one deal can have multiple deal nodes. So how can I get a row each? Because this one the last node only fires once if you put it in a regular workflow which just runs through once. So I need to have, um, in, in NodeMation words, its results, I need to have one result per, um, per deal node. So in this case, uh, now I screwed it up. So if I copy them again and put them to here. So in this case, I need six. I need to, uh, to call this Postgres insert six times, but this runs through only once. So this is very, uh, very much problematic and I will show you along the way how we will achieve this. So first things first, I need to um, feed these contacts. So this is only one contact in our example, but I have some 300 contacts. And I put together a list, a key value pair looks like this, contact ID and deal ID. I chose these um, JSON, uh, what are, uh, JSON keys because uh, these are exactly the same ones that I use in the end. So it's deal ID and contact ID, and uh, it's already the same. So this node will recognize them. And now I want to split them up. So in this deals, you can see I have an array in deals, which has 302 items, but it's only one result. So this workflow will only run once, but we can split them up by using, you see this is the yellow node, but let's use the orange node, the function node. And with this one, we can split them up actually. So how will we achieve this? Uh, let's, can I make this bigger? Yes. So uh, very importantly, you need to make a new array. You shouldn't 
um, try to uh, do it inside of this. Um, this is the root uh, item, like the the general item which will be passed along the workflow. And if you have only one run, it's item zero. And um, if you open up a new function node, you will see this item zero and the property JSON, which is the root property, uh, which will be shown. You can have a binary one as well, and maybe some other ones, which I don't know of. So um, make a new array and return it in the end. And uh, let's add values to, to the array by using the for each function. The for each function will split an array up and in this case it's the deals array remember it's the it's, I'll show you again this one it's the deals array and I can now run a for each function to um, reference each of these one two three and so on so let's do this and the function uh, outputs uh, the deal. So this is sing singular of this. So I have each of, of these uh, um, particles and an index. So for each one, I have an index as well. And I will feed an array um, of the index index with the deal. Very easy. I will not manipulate anything. I think till here it's very easy to understand. So now you can see it looks similar but it's very different. On the top you can see it's 302 results and we don't have the the deals property anymore. So this is exactly what we wanted. Let's go on. This one is actually I put in a timeout which didn't work so uh, it's actually useless. Let's go over this. And then there is the deal node. And the deal node grabs the deals deal nodes from the server. And this one actually runs 302 times now. There you go. And it contains large amount of data, so it's not shown, but trust me, it's there. And it grabbed the data for all 302 IDs, which is good. Now I have to add the uh, deal ID and contact ID again. Um, I'm not quite sure if this is necessary, but I just did it. Um, and now I can reference exactly this one by the next Oh, okay, so now um, if we go back to this example, we fetched 302 of these ones, which each have one or multiple deals. So the deals, um, no, I'm, I was wrong. We were fetching these ones. So we are fetching the deals and they uh, have a contact assigned to them. So now we have these results, but some of them have a couple of end results and each of them needs a sep uh, separate row. So we need to perform the same thing again and split the, um, the, object, the object which has three uh, content of three we have to split it up um, f uh, to ha uh, to run once for each so in more results so to say so to speak okay so let's do this workflow cannot be uh, okay my workflow cannot be executed because i have all these active campaign nodes Let's delete them. Okay. So takes rather long. So now I have to split it up again. Let's see how we do, uh, how we do this. 
how we do this. And I have two for each um, I have two for each loops inside of each other. So the first one you already know. Oh, so the, the very first one you already know, it's the array again. And then we have the items, the items, um, which return one item and the index again. And then the inner item might have multiple nodes. So we have another for each loop which returns us the node and within the array we need uh, for uh, notation to um, to display the data and to work with it properly you have to assign it to the json property to the json root property and then you can assign whatever you like so in this case i want to have a note i want to have a date i want to have deal id and contact id and the node will be in within this one and it's called node and the date is within this one and it's called c date and then i have from the previous uh, function i have the item json deal id and the item json contact id and then in the end uh, i i push all of these and in the end, I have a row for each. And I return the array again, remember, to achieve more rows. A row for each of the nodes. And now you can see it's not 302 anymore, but it's 543. So and now I could... Uh, pump them into the Postgres again, but I won't do it because it's already done. But I will show you once again uh, which columns I have, and these are exactly the parameters you've seen in the previous window. So this is the way it works, and hopefully uh, you took away what to use the orange function node for and what's the difference between the function and the function item and hopefully uh, you can uh, use this for your own workflows and also the postgres uh, node which is very useful and uh, i think the same would be uh, true for the mysql or the other database i think mongodb uh, the other database nodes which should be working in a very similar fashion. If you like the video, please leave me a thumbs up. If you have a question, please post it in the comment below. If you uh, uh, want to see something else uh, in another video, a certain topic or something, please leave it in the comment, uh, comment below as well. So I might make a video on it. And um, yeah, I hope you learned something and please check out my other videos on Notemation and other topics. Till next time, take care. Bye bye from Hamburg, Germany. Your Sven.